There's actually 20 odd numbers between 1 and 39. So the probability that the first number selected is odd is 20 out of 39. Once that first odd number has been selected, there's only 19 odd numbers left out of a total of 38 numbers. So the probability that the second number is odd, given that the first number was odd, is 19 over 38. Once those two odd numbers have been selected, there's only 18 left out of a total of 37 numbers. So the probability of the third number is odd, given the first and second were already odd, is 18 over 37. Once those three odd numbers have been removed, there's only 17 left out of a total of 36 numbers. So the probability the fourth number is odd, given the first, second, and third were already odd, is 17 over 36. And the probability the fifth number is odd follows the same pattern. So by multiplying these, we get the total probability that all the balls are odd, about 0.02693. When the first ball is drawn, there's 39 numbers it could be. Once that number is drawn, we're left with 38 numbers. Then 37, then 36, and then 35. So there's over 69 million unique ways to draw these numbers. However, the order in which the numbers are drawn doesn't matter. So many of these 69 million ways are actually duplicates, just the same numbers drawn in different orders. So to correct that, we just need to divide by 5 factorial, the number of ways 5 unique numbers can be arranged. If you ever need to use the factorial button on your calculator, press math and go over to probability and it's the fourth option. So it turns out there's 575,757 unique sets of 5 numbers from 1 to 39. Now set 1 and set 2 each represent one of these 575,757 unique sets of numbers. So the probability of drawing either of these sets is the same. Very unlikely. You can also find the number of ways to select 5 numbers out of 39 options using the combination formula. 39 factorial over 5 factorial times 34 factorial. Or you can do this on your calculator by typing 39, then pressing the math button, going over to probability and choosing NCR, and typing 5. There we go. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about probability, especially if you're studying for the AP Stats exam, check out this playlist. It covers many topics of probability that will help you for the exam.